Hey, good morning. It's Spelling with Jules. And what day is it today? It's Wednesday today. Um, you'll notice there's a slight difference um, if you've been coming along because I'm in my classroom. Um, I'm back in school now, um, which I will be nearly every day, I think, till the summer. So um, I will still do my lessons as, as long as I can. And I will let you know if I can't. OK, so welcome. Hello, Ronan. Hello, Stephen. Hello, Twitch. Uh, good to see you. I'm sure others will be joining us soon. And we are going to have a quick check in and then we will do our spelling quiz and looking at what we did yesterday. And then we will look at our new sound uh, for later. So quick check in. How is everybody? I'm feeling good. It's weird. This is the first time I've been back in my actual classroom. I've been in the school. Hello, Isla. Hello, OXON. Good to see you. Um, yeah, in my actual classroom, this is the first time I've been in. And on this board, I've just rubbed out. You, can, you might be able to just see up here. It was the 20th of March. So I haven't been in this classroom since the 20th of March. I've been in a couple of other classrooms um, in the school, but it's the first time I'm in mine. So you're good, are you, Ronan? Twitch is okay. I hope everybody's okay and enjoying the sunshine. Uh, we'll have our spelling lesson today and then um, that will be me done for the day and I'll see you tomorrow. So um, let's have, so we'll have a good old check in. Everyone's feeling fine because you learn better and you spell better if you feel okay. If you've got some negative feelings, that's okay too. You need to sit with them um, and think about why. And it is a funny time, isn't it, um, with this coronavirus. So um, we've all got to get by as best we can. And then um, and it will be over. We don't know when, but it will be over at some stage. OK, so let's um, quickly remind ourselves. Yesterday we did the or sound using these two letters, O and R. So these two letters make the or sound. And um, there's two letters to make one sound. And some of the words we looked at, so we could do four like that, put an F in front of it. OK, and that would be four as I'm going for a walk. We could have the word torn. OK, um, or bore. And if I took out that T and put a B, it would be born. And then if I took that away and put a suffix, ed it would be b or e d board okay we could have um sport so we could do sp or t sport okay and some of you might have at the front of your if you live in a house or in um flats even you might have something called a porch or ch, porch. And if I took away that P, what letter, and I added a T, it makes torch. Hello, Flory. You went out for a walk and you found some wild garlic. Ah, I love wild garlic. Smells delicious if you like garlic. Have you tried to cook it, Stephen? Okay, so that's what you do with um, when you're looking at spelling. You can take away words, um, take away letters and make different words and then just notice all the different spellings. OK, so that was yesterday. We did the or sound. And today we're going to do an air sound using the letters A-R, A-I-R. Three letters to make one sound. OK, that's pretty big, isn't it? But before that, we're going to do our spelling quiz. Now, this quiz is getting hard quite quickly because not only are we using our red tricky words, five of them, I've also added in commonly misspelled words, and they're really difficult. So it's a really good time to start ticking the letters that you get right. And don't get too demotivated if you don't get them, OK? But, and I've also added in a month and a number, because we did months and numbers too, didn't we? OK, so here we go with our spelling quiz. Have you got a pen and paper or a pen, pencil? Number one. And I've written them down, so I'm not going to get them mixed up. Number one is liaise. I shall give you a little clue if you were here yesterday. 
liaise has two of something. That's where people mistake it. And I make those two letters people to talk to each other. And that's how I remember. I'll explain at the end. But if you were here yesterday, you might that might help. Liaise. And liaise means talking uh, between people and arranging things. Um, so you can be a liaison officer. Um, you might be a receptionist in a hotel and you liaise with the people that are coming in and the cleaners and the cooks, all sorts. So liaise. Number two is the month. And I've chosen one of the hard ones because it's got a hidden letter in it. Um, February. OK, I'll give you a clue that you can say it, which helps you spell it. Say it how you spell it rather than say it how you say it. Um, February. That's my clue. So the month of February is the second month in the year. February. Number three. Now, if you're old like me, you'll remember, you might know this song. My girl lollipop. Do, 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 do. Number three is the word lollipop. I'm going to draw one. There you go. That's a lollipop with a face. Number three, lollipop. I saw a lady um, eating a lollipop yesterday, walking her dog, and she just had it in her mouth, and she didn't take it out, and she was walking along. She looked quite funny. Number four. Okay, this is one of our red tricky words, does. It's very commonly misspelled, though, as well. So he does like to go to the swimming pool, does. If you're struggling, remember what word it comes from and then think about putting a suffix on it because the two middle letters are the ones that people get mixed up. So if you think of the root of the word does, then you shouldn't get those two letters mixed up. That's my clue. You've been on the allotment picking radish. Mmm, yum. And have lots of strawberries, gooseberries, and you're planting carrots. Oh, they sound lovely. Love a strawberry. Not sure about gooseberries. They're a bit bitter, aren't they? Do you have them with lots of sugar? Number four. Oh, I've done it already, haven't I? We've done number four because I've got a list. I'm not going to get mixed up. Okay, this one, again, think about your root word and then your suffix. Noticeable. Okay, so I'll give you a clue of the... Um, so it was noticeable that John was late for his lesson. Okay, it comes from the root word notice. And then you can add able on. So noticeable, noticeable. Number six is a nice easy one. Okay, it's not... It sounds like the number two, but it's the other two. So not the number. So I am walking to the shops, that two. I am walking to the shops, two. Okay, um, let's do a seven over here. Seven is you. You are doing spelling with jewels. So not a yew tree, which is spelt Y-E-W, or um, a school, but you, as in you are walking to the shops. So what we call a personal pronoun, because it's a person, and it replaces, it's a noun, so it replaces other nouns. Personal pronoun, you. And number eight, I've made... The number eight. Okay, it's one of the hardest ones to spell out the numbers. So how do you write the number eight? And all you clever sausages out there, that doesn't mean that you write the number eight. You have to do it in a word. You have to use letters. Number nine. Okay, we've got two more. These are hard, these two. Okay, they're some of the commonly misspelled words that our adults also spell incorrectly, as well as children or teenagers. And it's occurred. Okay. Um, it occurred to me that it was a Wednesday doing spelling in my classroom for the first time. Occurred. Now, remember, 
Oh, number seven was you, Stephen, as in you are going to the shops or you are doing spelling with Jules. So number nine was occurred. It occurred to me that I was in my new, my old classroom. It comes from the word occur. That's the root word. You might double up a letter and then you had an, have to add a suffix, ed. Okay, that's a tricky one. And number 10 is persistent. My children are persistent when asking for sweets. Okay, persistent means you can do it over and over again and you carry on, you don't give up. So you could be persistent in trying to learn your spellings. I am persistent in trying to learn my spellings. Persistent. Okay, or if you said that a bit like you were going to spell it, persistent. That's another clue. Okay, let's see how you did. Right, now the first one is liaise. Okay, so it's L I A I. That's the one that everyone misses out. S E. So liaise, okay? And what I do, I make the, the two eyes speak to each other in my head so I can remember it's two. So because liaising means talking to people really, um, or emailing at least, communicating with them. So those two eyes are liaising, okay? So I make, you can draw those as people. Now, just to remind you, if you've done it like this, say, Lee, so you might have spelt it Lee A's. So if you spelt it like that, okay, don't just cross it out. You can tick L, okay, you can tick I and you can tick E. And then you need to fix Z with an S, okay, I, E with an I, and then you need to add an I there, okay. So you can, you probably don't want to cross that one out. So you can sort of start to analyze your spelling errors much more useful to do that than it is just to cross it out okay and you think oh that's interesting so don't get down don't get demotivated just work out and think about the ones you've got right as much as the ones that you got wrong okay number two was the month with the hidden r february so eh, buh. okay so that bit's okay isn't it forever but then it's Brewery. So it's got a R there, U, R, and then a R. So Feb, U, R, E. Okay. And that R there, it's like saying, it's like library. You go library. Don't know why they put that R in. There's probably a reason. Be something to do with where it's come from. If it's Saxon or um, something. Okay, number three is Lollipop. Okay, oh, Ollie's here. Hello, Ollie. Good to see you. Okay, so we've got Lollipop. So it's all, l, all, all, two, two alls there, and then i, and then pop, p, o, p. Okay, another commonly misspelt word. One of the reasons is lo the word lolly you spell with a Y. So you've got lolly spelled with a Y and then lollipop with an I. So those two there, that's why people misspell lollipop and they spell it with a Y. You've got the song on, have you, Ronan? Do they sing it better than me? My girl lollipop. Da -da -da -da. Okay, number four. Does. Okay. This is the one people get the O and E mixed up. So they write it like that. But if you remember, does comes from the word do, then you put an E and S on the end. So it's much easier not to mess those bits up. Okay. So it's often really worth thinking about that root word. 
where does the word come from? So does is do. So he does, I do. And then you add an ES. Okay, da, us. It's easier. I suppose we could do a line there. It's easier then not to get that O and E mixed up because that's one of the commonly misspelled words. 15 minutes left. Excellent. I think we're doing well. Number five, noticeable. Okay, so again, no, you can do. Tis, it's got that soft C. And so, and that's also the root word notice. And then we can put able on the end. Oh, I've done a D, sorry. Notice able, notice able. Okay. Number six, two. Okay, not the number two, just that one. I'm going to the shops. Okay, so it hasn't got a double O. The one with double O means as well as. So I'm going to the shops two. Um, or, and it's not the number two, which is T double O. So you've got those two spellings, number two and as well as. You know, I'm going to the shops two where you do a double O. But this is the one I wanted. Okay, seven is you, a personal pronoun, Y-O-U, really good word to always remember how to spell because you'll use that one more frequently probably than like things like and, the, you, is. They're all the ones that you need to know how to spell because you use them all the time. Number eight was the number eight, E-I-G-H-T. Four letters to make one sound, E-I-G-H, and then t ends in a t, okay? And then we've got two more commonly misspelled words that are really tricky. Occur is like that, so occur, and then you have to add in another R, so you've got to double up that R, and then a suffix ed for occurred. And again, that's where the commonly misspelled bit comes from. People either use one C or one R or both. So you've got to remember double C, double R for occurred. And then if you were doing the root word, just one R on the end. Okay, that's a hard one. But you do use that word quite a lot, I think, especially as you get older. And then the last one, persistent. So per, uh, p, uh, a bit like sister for that bit. P, uh, s, e, s. And then tent. T, e, n, t. Okay, lots of sounds there. Three syllables. Remember when we do our syllables? Persistence. Three syllables. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten letters. One, two, nine sounds. Okay, they're all single sounds. And you might want to say it instead of persistent, so you might use a U or an A, it's tent, persistent. And that's where the biggest error people make is they put an A or a U there. But they also might double up S's. Okay, that's why that's hard. How did you do? Not expecting 10 out of 10 for these, especially for liaise lollipop noticeable occurred and persistent okay they're really hard nine out of ten not bad that was super hard it was Stephen. six out of ten excellent ox on that means you've probably got your five red words which are the main ones and then four and you've got one of the commonly misspelled words that's great 10 out of 10 for ronan excellent stuff very very impressed if you've got 10 out of 10 for that because that's difficult well done but remember, you don't have to get them all right. Count up your letters. Which letters did you get right? And which letters did you get wrong? Okay, this board does not clean very well. I'm going to have to get a wipe. Six out of ten for Isla. Yeah, so that February, that's hard. Does, that's interesting, isn't it? Because that's the one that people often get mixed up. Uh, and just try to remember, Isla, do. 
So if you do anything to do with does, doesn't, do not, don't, it all comes from the root word. That's the main part of the root word, do. Okay. And occurred and persistent. I'm not surprised. They're really hard. Okay. Let's get on then. So we've done um, our retrieval. And we're on to this sound here, air. Okay, so let's, um, so Rona, try to write it down or misspelt it or a piece of paper and write it down. Yeah, so you're practicing and then you get it right. That's brilliant. Keep practicing. Keep ticking the letters that you get right, fixing the letters that you either get wrong or you miss out. And you'll soon get, get to the stage where you uh, can do your spellings. OK, but it's all about noticing and being a detective rather than getting it right all the time. Okay. If you know these sounds, that's the most important bit. OK, let's do writing air. OK, first, Flory, three out of ten. That's that's good. Keep going. OK, these are getting really hard now. So it might be worth thinking about the letters, because if you get the letter, beginning letter right and the end letter right, that's already two. Yeah, so think about that. Don't get too disheartened. Okay, I'd much rather people thinking about it than getting it all right. Okay, so let's write air first. So that's actually a word in its own right, isn't it, air? So the air that we breathe or the air in my classroom is quite cool because I'm very lucky and have air conditioning. So I'm going to stick in, I'm going to stay in here, don't tell anybody. I'm sort of stuck away in the side of the playground, so I'm hoping nobody will know I'm here because it's nice and cool. Then I haven't got to go into the main room. Okay, so so we do an A. So remember, this is our line. So we start at the top and come down. That's our A. We start at the top and come down and put a dot on for I. And then for the R, we can start at the top, come up and round air. Okay, if we want to join that up, then we do our C in cousins, and then up, and then up again, down, and then round. And can you see that's all, no ascenders or descenders, so it all comes in that halfway line. Okay, so if you want to join up, but you don't want that first one, that's really, so for instance, when, our, when we write stare, which we will in a minute, then it means we can add it on, okay? But you could start at the top and go up and then up and then up and then round. OK, have a little practice at doing that. It's quite a nice feeling sometimes when you're writing. OK, good. Yeah, we're getting some words already. So we've got hair, fair. OK, Stephen's going for it. Lair. Fair, lair. Now, bear, though, Stephen, is one of these sounds that sound the same but are written differently. So you've got bear, B-A-R-E, okay, which means your bare skin. So here I've got material, and that's bear. Or you've got bear, as in the cuddly bear, teddy bear or the grizzly bear, which is le less cuddly and a bit scary and might kill you. So we've got bear and bear there. So um, it's not spelled like that one. You could have, though, is a Scottish term. Elena, I think, will tell me this one, is bairn. So bairn, bairn, which is like, I think it's a Scottish term for a little one. My little bairns, my children. Okay. So, yes, we've got chair. Well done, Ronan. Ah, and your mum's name is Claire. Okay, so Ericsson's mum's name is Claire. My middle name is Claire, but it has an um, E on the end. So when I write my name, I write it like that. That's my middle name. C-L-A-I-R-E. So, look, air. And you can also spell Claire like this. Yeah, so again, it's not always the air sound. We're doing this one, A-I-R. But other air sounds um, are spelt differently, aren't they? Oh, look, yeah, we been. Uh, we been. I can hear you saying that, alone. We been. 
My accents are terrible, so I'm trying not to uh, do them because I will um, embarrass you all. Okay, let's think of some more then. So fair, yes. So we've got um, fair. So you can have a fair as in the fairground where, you know, you can go on the roller coasters and the, the wheel and the waltzers. Or you can have, which we often hear, it's not fair, miss, when you all get upset because you think something's not fair. So there's two, so there's two spelling, uh, the same spelling, air, for fair ground and it's not fair. So they mean different things, but they're spelt the same. There is another one, though, that is a bus fare. And that's spelt like that, or train fare. So if you're paying with money. Okay, but we're looking at that one, fare. So Isla's got some here. Pear, lair, airy, dairy, fairy, unfair, affair. Excellent, yes. Really good ones. Okay, can you think of some sentences? As we've got four minutes left, I want to get onto our five a day, keep the spelling demons away. Um, air tanks, air brakes. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll just give you a few more. So I had hairy, or so you could have hair. I need my hair cutting when those hairdressers open. Or you can have hairy. Okay, we're all getting very hairy because there's no hairdressers open anymore. Okay, and then you can have, I thought some of you might like, we've got fair or fairy. And we've also got, um, for our farmers out there, or those that like milk, dairy. That um, shouldn't be there. And the last one I thought um, was quite a good one was repair, just to give you um, one at the end, repair. So you can think that's the same sound, but it can get a bit confusing. So look, fairy, because it ends with an E, so it's fairy, and this is repair. But that air is still the same sound, isn't it? Repair, fairy, hairy, dairy. Okay, so it's worth thinking about just that air sound there. It's in the middle on that one and that one. And it's at the end on repair. Now, if that was, if you wanted to add in a, um, a suffix, you could add ed, and then it would be repaired. Yeah? That's it. Good. Oh, here we go. Look, we've got the wee bairn was called air. Lovely. A little child was called air. And an airy pair of fairies went to the dairy. Very good. Love it. Okay, we're running out of time. We've only got two minutes. So I'm going to do, um, now I'm feeling really bad about these because these are very difficult, but they're taken from the most commonly misspelled words for children and adults. Okay. So the first one you might know if you've done Egypt because it is pharaoh. So the first one is pharaoh. Now, the f sound is a ph, like phone. So, and then arrow. So it's not this air. It's actually an r. So it's like faro, really. So r. And then this, for the o sound, it's o-a-h. So that's really difficult. Doesn't really fit with any of our phonic patterns, does it? Maybe PH. And then, because that's faro, isn't it? The R sound that we usually do. So, pharaoh. Okay, if you've done Egyptian, you've done your Egypt in school, you might know that one. Now, this is very commonly misspelled. It's piece, like a jigsaw piece or a piece of cake. And can you guess which bit they get wrong? Yeah. E before I. It does, it's a bit like receive this one though. I before E except after C. It definitely works for piece. Okay, there is another type of piece, as in um, peace on earth, a peaceful life. It's spelt like that, peace. So 
but this one is a piece of jigsaw or a piece of cake. And actually, you could remember it like that because, look, it's got pie, the word pie in it. So you think of a piece of pie. Pie. Okay, so that's piece. Number three. Oh, there's lots of politicians, aren't there, that we're seeing on the television at the moment. Um, Boris Johnson and people. So it's politician. So it's good to know how to spell this one, isn't it? Poll. Only one L, though. A bit like police. Politician. And then it's pol, pa, or or i, and then t, polit, and then politi, and then it's shun, which is C I A N. So pol, i, t, shun. Sh. I suppose that would be an un on the end. So again, um, Flory, if you're worried about, you can start to think about just getting some of the letters right. So p, politician. You can definitely do the p and the n. So you can think about um, that. If if you don't know how to spell something, we're getting some words here. Look, the hairy pharaoh went in the dairy. <laughs> My truck has air brakes to help me to stop. My truck has air tanks to help me to build up around the system. Very good. Um, the fairy didn't give me his coin. It's not fair. Excellent. Okay, yep, it's time up, but we've got um, two more to do. Four is possession. Now, this is one of those double S's again. P or S. E. Sh. Un. So it's got that shun on the end. So that's a double S. Possession. So my possession, you possess something, you keep it. Okay. And the last one, we're not going to get five there. So I'm going to do it here. Number five. These are really difficult, remember. It's preferred. So it's the word prefer, like that, which you might be able to do. Per and then you have to double up the R and add ED for your suffix. Okay, preferred. See if you can try and learn those for tomorrow. Don't get too upset, though, because they're really difficult. Okay, um, I will see you back in my classroom tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody.